Um, listen, I wanted to do another video. I've been sitting here for two days now because my little pup pup got into it with Dreamer. So I've been, he's got a swollen eye. He's okay. He's just sore. But I wanted to keep him safe. He's so little. So I've been sitting here for two days. And that's why, another reason you, why you guys have gotten so many videos or I've done so many videos. But it's been fun. But I wanted to go here. Um, Mary writes um, that she's struggling with her body. Now, that brings up something that I want to talk about. All star seeds came to help Gaia. That's a given. Now, all of them did. That was your primary goal. When you sleep, you really do a lot of things that you would not even begin to understand. And I couldn't even begin to explain to you. But it has to do with energy and frequencies but scientists here I don't know about any of that stuff really so it'd be hard to explain but just uh, let it be said that whenever you guys sleep whenever you starseed sleep you're very busy now everybody that sleeps including the humans do other things when they're asleep but starseeds do specific things that have to do with Gaia going to 5d okay now, that's the primary primary job. Then there are other jobs that star seeds kind of volunteer for along the way as well as that job. And star seeds can come and do nothing more than just stand on the planet and they've done their job, their primary job. It's done. That's all they got to do is stand on the planet. I've said this before. You could be a, a rocket scientist or you could be a bomb. It doesn't matter. If you're standing on the planet... Your vibration helps and assists in Gaia raising into the fifth dimension. Now, does she need our help? Absolutely not. She's God and she can do it herself. But we're friends. And um, she called and you came. Uh, she asked if people would come and help her do this and, and we volunteered. Okay? So, in the meantime, while you're here in this life... Many star seeds have volunteered to do other things, like, for instance, me. <laughs> so I kind of volunteered ish on these timelines to do these videos and answer you guys' questions. Okay? <clears throat> so I had a really, really rough life. Then I died, came back with no amnesia at all. And I've got all of this history so I can talk to people who have had a really hard time. I understand. There's not a whole lot that you couldn't talk to me about that I wouldn't relate or be able to talk you through it. Because I've had so many things happen to me. Or I've created them. You know, I've, I've owned them. I know why I did it. I know how I did it. I know what the purpose was behind it. I'm not mad at anybody. I don't need to forgive anybody. No need for any of that business. It's just simply what I did, what I volunteered for. Now, from this point on, although I can remember being on the other side and I know how things are set up and I could frequently read timelines around just about anybody else, I don't know my own. And there's good reason for that because I would throw a fit and tell myself, no, I'm not doing it. So I don't allow myself to know what I'm up to until right when it happens. And then I usually... Right, I'm in the middle of it before I figure it out, and then I just go ahead and finish it. And it's usually extremely stressful, and I throw a fit, and I say I'm not going to do it again, and then it happens again. And that's the way it's been for the last year and a half, <laughs> two years, something like that. Anyway, um, well, even then, my life was really tough, but then I died, and then it took me like eight years to figure out what I saw on the other side, to like work it out, to be able to get around it with a human brain to be able to figure out how to access it and then bring that knowledge back and sort it out in a human brain and make it so that it was understandable to myself first before anybody else um and that's been that's kept me busy <laughs> which is good which is good it's better than what i was doing before which was working things their way and that their way didn't work for me at all and I followed all their rules. It just didn't work for me at all. Because they leave out a big part when they say, okay, if you do this and this and this, and you're going to get this. Everything will be perfect. No, no, it doesn't work like that. 
law of attraction works. So it does, your intent does matter. So, yeah, so I can walk people through most of all of that. Okay, so back to the star seed having a secondary chore, and some of them will have more than that. But there are people that come to be star seeds, and they agree to vibrationally do things that have never been done before in order to assist other people. Now, whether or not somebody, a star seed, uh, okay, let's let's give for instance here. Uh, a star seed may come to this planet and go deep, deep into addictions, whether it's alcohol, well, it could be anything. Alcohol, work, sex, drugs, doesn't matter. Any kind of deep, deep addiction. Now, that would not be that unusual, and there are a lot of star seeds that do this. Uh, most of them are not listening to me yet. Some of them ha are, and uh, they will probably tell you who they are. Um, but at this point in the game, what it was used for is back in 3D densities, it was one of the ways for a star seed to cope with this situation of 3D where we were at before that was so, so unlike where we came from, and a star seed didn't know how to operate here at all. It's very, very difficult. So there are lots and lots of star seeds that went into addictions. Now, the first round, or first wave of, of star seeds that were born right around 1942 or ish, give or take, and uh, there's no such thing as time, so it's a give or take thing. Uh, there aren't very many of those left alive. Um, a lot of star seeds that were born during those years, the first wave of them, uh, they just kind of, kind of came running in and landed on the planet. It helped Gaia a great deal, but they were very... They didn't know how to run human bodies at all. So they didn't fare well. A lot of them died uh, natural causes. Some of them killed themselves, and a lot of them went into drugs. Um, then the next round, which I was a part of, uh, there was still a lot of addictions, but they were different addictions. They were sex addictions and a lot of work addictions. That was very, very common during my wave, and it still is. still is. Work is still an addiction. Uh, of course, all humans have the addiction of thinking too much. That's a given across the board. I've said that before. And that um, starseeds get into and caught up into uh, very, very early, very, very young. And it, it's very difficult to get yourself out of that addiction. Uh, that's what meditation's for. And you all should learn to meditate and shut up that brain. It's the only way you can really find out who you really are is to shut up your brain. Otherwise, your brain is like busy telling you all these things that you've accumulated over time. Okay? So the older, the, the first wave, the ones that were 1942 and stuff, most of them are gone. Um, they're not all gone. But a good majority of them, a good, oh, I don't know, 80% of them are dead that came in on that first wave. Second wave didn't fare in much better, um, but it did get a little bit better. It gets a little bit better even though those waves are kind of, it's it's still people coming in all the time, but there were groupings that made it look very much like a wave. It, the wave was always going, but there were highlights in it where there were more. I was very much the beginning of the second wave. Um, like a crazy person. I came screaming in here with very little physical experience and absolutely no physical, I mean, no experience with duality and very little experience with time, time space. And even the time space that I've dealt with was very different than here. So, yeah, I'm a complete um, crazy person about not knowing how to run this, run things here. I'm just really a, a beginner. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I do know how things are set up, which is the frustrating part, because I've read the book. I know the book from start to finish, but there's a big difference between knowing and reading the book and actually doing a thing, as most people should know. Okay, now back to the secondary things. I have my secondary thing. It's really complex. Some star seeds don't have a secondary thing. They do their thing at night whenever they sleep, and then during the wake, they're just trying to be human as best they can. Then there are some people who 
usually there's not very many people doing each thing, but one of the things that star seeds have volunteered to do is to go deep and heavy into physical body illnesses. Usually this involves pain. It's usually chronic pain. Now the reason why I bring this up is because as it stands right now in my timelines looking every which way, no one has been able to come out of the chronic pain vibration successfully raising up and out of it. The reason why is chronic pain is the most difficult, it's even more than, harder than thinking, to get out of. Because, especially if it's, if it's uh, well, it doesn't really matter whether it's annoying pain that's all the time or intense pain all the time. It still keeps you so focused moment to moment on the pain that you recreate it. So, because the pain is so intense, you think about the pain and you can't get your mind off of it. So, you send that vibration out to the universe. Law of Attraction responds and gives you more pain. So, as far as I know, this is the toughest um, job, much tougher than what I do, much tougher than what I do, and, and believe me, mine can be really tough, but mine comes and goes, whereas this chronic pain issue is, it's intense, guys, really, it's intense. The star seats that have volunteered to do this will set a pattern for the ones that get close or the ones that succeed in getting out of that, that being stuck, of being in chronic pain, sending the vibration out to the law of attraction, the law of attraction sending back more pain. And that goes so split second by split second. Now, how do you get out of that? I don't know. I don't know. You have to stop um, the feeling of pain. How do you do that? Um, I don't have chronic pain anymore. I used to. Um, how did I stop it? I didn't have it that intense. I, I had it for a long time and I worked through it. So I would cover it up by working. So I would just work really, really hard and it would get worse, but I would just work harder and then I didn't feel it. So if I focused on something else, then I didn't feel it. But in reality, that of course eventually killed me. Uh, <laughs> eventually I, I died. So then when I came out of of, of the death and then I was rehabbing and I just kind of took care of the chronic pain issue at the same time I took out of care of everything else and mine was more uh, uh well I had a daughter to take care of and I didn't have any money no insurance so I just did everything natural and just took care of all the issues that I had at the same time but it wasn't really the same thing as what a star seed does that has volunteered to come out of the chronic pain thing. Um, I wish I had an answer for you guys on that, but any star seed that is doing that, you are the first ones that are trying it. Um, if you think you're not succeeding, if you're listening to me, you have moved higher in vibration than you were a month ago, a year ago, two years ago. I promise you, you have. It may not feel like it, but you're doing, you're doing it. Now the trick is to be happier and happier in spite of the pain. Uh, how you do that, I am not going to judge you in how you feel and how you get through it moment to moment. All I know is that truly what I say whenever I say happier moment to moment is you have to find that ease somehow, some way, and identify it, notice it, send it to the universe. You've got to find relief even for a split second in something. A smile at something, pet your animal, but when you do it and you feel better, you've got to really, really focus on that and send that to the universe. Not what you're feeling the rest of the day, but go for those happier moments and then try to repeat them and repeat them. Eventually, um, those those happier moments will get closer and closer and closer together. Other than that, how you do it in your particular case, I have no business telling you what to do other than what I just said. And that's the best. But I will tell you that you are pioneers in doing this and the vibration that you set up will 
be known by others in all that is in this game, and it will be used by others and to assist them to get out of this. Pain is a big deal in 3D. Um, 3D was dense energy. So there, there was a lot of negativity in that. Negativity in all areas, physical, mental, every single area. And physical is one of the most difficult. So, uh, yeah, keep on keeping on. You're doing great. Um, I admire you for taking on that job. All I can say is, uh, wow, I love you for it. Okay? Huge hugs, guys. Love you so much, and I'll see you later. Bye now.